Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we dive into unsettling new research that changes how we think about breathing. Scientists now warn we may be inhaling microplastics non-stop, adding up to the equivalent of a credit card's worth every week, raising urgent questions about exposure, accumulation, and what it could mean for our health. The study was conducted by several scientists from universities in Australia using a computer model, which they created to analyze microplastic transport and deposition in the upper airway. Over the years, microplastic has been defined as tiny chunks of less than 5 mm long pieces of plastic and microfibers from clothes which get caught in the Earth's atmosphere. The model used for the study is said to have provided effective predictions for other forms of particles for decades now. The research found that the largest microplastics tested for this study, which was 5.56 microns, got stuck in the upper airways, nasal cavity, or the back of the throat. However, it was not just the size, but also the shape of the particle, which influenced where it was deposited. The model also tested the movement of microplastics based on shapes spherical, tetrahedral and cylindrical, as well as under slow and fast breathing conditions. The researchers found that the deposition rate was dependent mostly on breathing conditions and particle size. An increased airflow rate led to less deposition, while the largest microplastics were deposited in the airways more often than their smaller counterparts. The complicated and highly asymmetric anatomical shape of the airway and complex flow behavior in the nasal cavity and oropharynx causes the microplastics to deviate from the flow path line and deposit in those areas, said the study co-author Mohammed S. Islam, University of Technology, Sydney, in a statement. He added, The flow speed, particle inertia, and asymmetric anatomy influence the overall deposition and increase the deposition concentration in nasal cavities and the oropharynx area. Speaking about why they decided to do this study, Islam said, For the first time in 2022, studies found microplastics deep in human airways, which raises the concern of serious respiratory health hazards. This comes as millions of tons of these microplastic particles have been found in water, air and soil and with global microplastic production surging, the density of microplastics in the air is also increasing significantly, said the author from the University of Technology, Sydney. Researchers have also said that they hope that the findings of this study can help with targeted drug delivery devices and improve health risk assessment as they have highlighted the real concern of exposure to and inhalation of microplastics. This study emphasizes the need for greater awareness of the presence and potential health impacts of microplastics in the air we breathe, said another author of the study, Yuan Tong Gu. However, there is very little known about the effects of microplastics on human health. While we have already seen the effect it has on marine life, the same cannot be said for humans, previous studies have suggested. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.